Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're from. It's another one of those videos where I'm filming it and posting it in the same day. So, this is the morning of October 15th. I'm working on a handful of different videos as well as uh, some new stickers and shirts, but we'll get to that at a later date in a later video. I came across an old seat and I wanted to share it with you and I wanted to see your opinion on why you guys think it never took off. The technology, in my opinion, is way ahead of its time. This is the current seat that I'm running right now. This is a Snafu, I believe it's a Scotty Kramer signature seat, not too sure, but it's just a Snafu seat, right? Your average pivotal seat, it's a fat pivotal seat. This is today's standards. Um, it comes with like a, like a fake pleather, um, I guess to help it from any uh, abrasions or ripping. The bottom part here that you see, the pivotal technology. So a lot of you guys might be old school people and you run rail seats. Rail seats are just two rails and you have a mechanism that's attached to your seat post to allow you to be able to kind of move up and down and forward and backwards. So this one only allows you to be able to move up and down, right? So that's the only angles you're able to get. There was a company that was ahead of its time in forward thinking to be able to try to marry the two together. Since pivotal technology only lets you go up and down, they wanted to be able to slide forward and backward in the same mechanism. And that is where I bring to you the old alienation McRib. Yeah, it's pretty tiny in comparison, right? Much, much smaller in comparison. But it was ahead of its time with this part. This technology I'm about to show you is something that I'm really surprised it never took off in BMX or mountain biking for that matter. They ended up making this, this patented idea right here. They're, this is proprietary to alienation. What they ended up doing is licensing the pivotal technology from pivotal. So what I mean by that is the pivot going up and down. So this portion, they had to do a patent to do licensing agreement to be able to get that accessible. And what they ended up doing was doing the sliding technology you see there where it can go back and forth. So if you want to run the seat all the way back and get a nice angle, you can. If you want to run it all the way forward, you can if you're a short guy. So you want to be able to do bar spins and be closer to the actual handlebar. Or if you just kind of want to be in the middle. You have so many different options. And that's why I was like, man, I'm really surprised this never took off. And I think the only reason why it didn't take off is because of the actual seat dimensions. The seat dimensions are super, super small. Look, we're gonna get a comparison again. Today's standards, back in the day standards. Huge differences in sizing, in length, and uh, but one thing I did wanna say is, one thing with pivotal seats is I think that they have a huge weak point. And the weak point is not only the nose, a lot of people break the nose, but you see the bends that I have there in my seat? These areas always cripple for me, right up here. And that's because you get a lot of impact. Boom, and it bends the seat all the way around. This, I think, also was ahead of its time. Look at these grooves. Look at the, look at the technology they had there to kind of spread out that impact. And it was super thick back then, too. We're gonna get to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on my bike and see what it feels like today. And I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works and how you can slide it back and forth and up and down. All right, got my Snafu pivotal seat post. This is something that is still pretty regular in today's standards. It kind of makes me wonder why they haven't just made a seat post that had this technology in it. Maybe uh, maybe we can get a company to do that. Maybe Alien Nation would want to put in the, uh, the funds to be able to do that. Or they should actually just bring this back and put it on a fatter seat. Screw it in there, it should all come together. Oh my gosh, this thing is so tiny. <laughs> I can't believe I used to run this. I know like this was the thing back in the day. Like this is this was a staple. All right, so it's kind of snug right now. I'm gonna show you how many options you can get. So I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit and it's gonna allow us to be able to go back and forth. Watch this. So you wanna run it tucked all the way back? You can. You wanna run it all the way forward? For short guys? You can. You wanna angle it up while you do that? Pick it up a little bit and you can. Those are those, uh, those trail guys. I don't know who the hell would wanna run it like that, but they can. You wanna run it all the way down or if you wanna run it all the way back, like that, you can too. So you get basically any angle that you wanna get. I don't know who's gonna run it like that, but there's a lot of different options to run with this. I think I'm gonna stick with uh, my ordinary staple one. Maybe I'll run it like a little bit forward, right? Run a little bit forward. Cause it's kinda of small and I don't know how I feel about it being much smaller than my, uh, my seat that I have now. So we're gonna run it all the way forward. I'm gonna lock it in.
All right, you can see the angle I went with. It's pretty similar to what I normally go with. So I'm gonna pop the chest cam on and get some clips of this thing. I'm gonna set you guys up over here for this clip, but while I'm coming over here, I gotta let you guys know this seat, Haley Nation, if you come back out with this, it needs to be a fat one, all right? It's super uncomfortable. Yeah, all right, let's get some clips. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys are probably still wondering if I'm running the Alienation carbon rims. I am, and a video will be coming out this week on these bad boys. A little bit of a test, here's a, uh, here's a little bit of an impact. So one thing I do want to note on this seat so far is, uh, yeah, I don't like it super low technology needs to be in today's seats so I'm gonna take it down this little slant wall that somebody made it was kind of like a, an embankment that somebody put up against the side of a bench uh, I've been getting kind of into crank flips you're about to watch your boy crank flip master right now guys All right, quick little session with this thing. I just kind of wanted to bring it to your guys' attention. Maybe we should get this back in BMX and maybe get more BMX companies involved in this. And hopefully when Alienation sees this video, maybe this will motivate them to bring this technology back to BMX because it was way ahead of its time. Hello. Way ahead of its time. So with that being said, I'm going to do another video after this. And if you guys have any suggestions for future like old stuff that you guys want to see revisited on my channel, put a comment below. Anything that's kind of unique that we haven't seen in BMX in a very long time and kind of like questioning why it never picked up in the community. So with that being said, if you guys are new around here, consider subscribing. I try to do videos daily. I also have a new merch line. This is a All Blake's Matter line right here and I also have a bunch of new stickers. If you guys are interested in any of that stuff, link is in the description below. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.